Welcome to another episode of Three Minute Theory. I'm Ray Harmony, and this is the Hack Music Theory Show. There ain't nothing funkier than a bit of slap bass. So today I'm going to show you a hack for writing slap bass lines, so you can seriously funk up your songs. But first, T. Slapping actually consists of two techniques, the slap and the pop. The slap is usually done with your thumb on the lower, thicker strings, and the pop is usually done with your index finger on the higher, thinner strings. And it's that back and forth movement of the hand, often pretty fast too, um, and the interplay between the slaps and the pops, which creates that signature slapping sound. All right, let's get to it. So our tempo is 110 BPM, our time signature is 4-4, the grid is at 16th notes, and we've got two bars set up and ready to go. We're going to write our bass line in the Dorian mode, and we'll use the white note hack, which means that we're only going to be using the white notes, and D is our root. And remember, after you've finished writing using the white note hack, you can just select all the MIDI and move it up or down to wherever you want. We're going to start this process by creating a slap and pop template for our bass line, and then we can just move the notes around afterwards. Using this hack also means you don't have to do that whole staring in a blank canvas thing, you can just jump right in. Alright, so on the first beat, let's put a slap on that low D. Then the next 16th note over, we're going to put a pop, and that's going to be an octave higher on that D. And then we can just go through alternating between slaps and pops, and what you're going to start to see emerging here is one of the coolest things about slapping, and that is... This is quite hypnotic, actually. Wow. <laughs> okay, just do one bar. Um, so you're going to see one of the really cool, most cool things about slapping um, coming out here, and that is the two melodies that you're going to get. So whenever you listen to a really well-written slap bass line, you'll always hear these two melodies coming out, the low slap melody and the high pop melody. And it's just an incredible way of creating musical depth from one melodic instrument. And then, as if slapping wasn't fun enough, you can have even more fun by separating these two melodies, putting them on different tracks, you can put a synth on the one or something, um, and then you're going to end up with these amazing melodies and rhythms that you would never normally write. Alright, and we're like halfway there already and we've barely even started. All we need to do now is delete some notes, move some around, and we've got an awesome bass line. So let's leave the first two Ds in place, because that's going to establish the root. We can delete the next one though, um, and then let's move that guy down to a C, and then octave of the C. Uh, and then we're going to delete this one, actually. Um, and then, you know what, let's move this one uh, one earlier, so we're going to get two. Um, it's not actually going to be slapped twice. You just slap the first one, and then you could like slide up or whatever to the next one. And then this is going to be another pop. Let's do that on C again. Uh, let's delete the next one. Uh, this guy go up to an E, and then octave of the E, and then we can go back to uh, the C, and then let's go to an A, and then let's take this guy up to that F, octave down of the F, and then E. Alright, so that's the first bar done, now we just select all, and copy and paste that into the second bar, and then let's grab the notes uh, over the first two quarter beats of that, and move them, so from the instead of starting on the D, we move it up to start from the G to create some variation. By the way, if you need some help writing bass lines, please read my ultimate melody checklist in the Hack Music Theory for Songwriting and Producing PDF. The link is below. Uh, and we're done. Have a listen to this. Mm -hmm. 